Gallery, and today we're going to be talking about two Bismarck artists. I'm joined by Marcy Narum, and we're going to talk about Sam Coleman. And Sam is the one that has these uh, these buffalo paintings behind us. Marcy, give us a little background on Sam's work and and what his work is all about. Sam is an extraordinary artist. He's from Bismarck, uh, probably our youngest artist, and he focuses a lot on nature, uh, landscapes bison, um, a lot of different wildlife, birds, and just always has um, something special that he adds to it is a, a, a scripture verse. Sam is a Bismarck pastor, and so there's always a verse and it corresponds at something to do with the message of the painting. Okay, I did notice as I was looking at these paintings, I noticed that there was a little Bible verse that was underneath his name. How long have you been associated with Sam, and, and what is the importance that he brings to the gallery? Sam was one of the first artists that asked us to represent him when we opened Masters or, we, or before we opened the gallery. And he's just somebody who really is, is caring and he loves to have a relationship not only with us as his, um, his advocates, but also with the, the clients, the people who purchase his art. Okay, we see these two uh, paintings behind us. Do you have other works of his here in the gown? Yeah, several pieces, um, landscapes, uh, sun, sun uh, or skyscapes, I should mm -hmm. say, um, and also some florals and birds, more bison. He's yeah. um, also another one who is really uh, deliberate about doing research and, you know, even with some native paintings. Right, Marcy, thank you. I'm going to walk over here to David Borlaug, and David is working, is standing next to a piece by Vern Erickson, again, another local artist from Bismarck. Tell me a little bit about Vern's work. Vern's a remarkable self-taught artist. He grew up emulating Charlie Russell, Frederick Remington, yeah. the great artists of the American West, and it really shows in his work. A lot of his pieces, you'll find uh, a little uh, coyote or wolf skull yeah. or bison skull in the corner, but this is wild horses in the park, now Theodore Roosevelt National Park, this would depict another era, an earlier time. Okay, what is, it, I asked Marcy this about Sam's work, what about Vern's work? Is there, are there several pieces in the, in the gallery here? We have a lot of Vern's work. Um, he's been so popular with that Old West theme. Yeah. And above me, we have several pieces that portray our native peoples and our sense of place, especially along the Missouri River Corridor or the Badlands. Do you find, David, that local artists are more popular with the people that come into the gallery or are people just looking for a piece of art that, that strikes them? I don't know if they're more popular, but they people, when they buy art often, even if they're from out of state, they're looking for that sense of place. Mm -hmm. uh, they want a piece of art that when it, it speaks to people coming into their home, oh yeah, I picked that up yeah. in, in downtown Bismarck. So that does help. I think it helps the most is it came from Master's Gallery sure. in Bismarck. Okay, as far as the local artists, are they ever here for, you know, to, to come and visit with you guys and talk about their work? Or once you have a piece of their artwork, are they basically, is it up to you to find a buyer for it? That, that's our role, we're the yeah, marketer. Yeah. We, we want artists to, to really spend their time on their craft and it's an innate thing. They, they sure. don't like to talk about themselves that sure. much, but we do bring them in the gallery. We love having them here when we have special little events and people can go to our Facebook page, they can go to mastersgallery.net and learn more and connect with us, but especially on social media. And we invite people to come in anytime on their own time sure. and we'll arrange to visit with an artist as well. Sounds great. Marcy, if you want to step in as we say so long, I want to invite you down to Master's Gallery, Marcy Naram and David Borlaug, Sam Coleman, and also Vern Erickson, two of the local Bismarck artists that are featured here. All right, we're taking a break, but first, let's send it back to the studio to find out what's coming up.